For the past 11 years, during the month of November, the world abruptly changes. Leaves fall and the air tastes of magic. The smell of wet leaves fills my nose and the urge to curl up with blankets and candles and fuzzy socks overtakes me. My normally healthy eating habits are thrown out of the window and copious amounts of coffee, ramen, and dark chocolate bars become consumed. I turn nocturnal and in the heavy silence of the dead of night, the clickety clack of computer keys can be heard. NaNoWriMo is quickly approaching. In less than two weeks, the season that brings me both immense amounts of joy and terror will descend upon my house. It is during this month that I am able to enter into the abyss that is my true need for solitude and embrace with open arms the introvert inside of me. For 30 days, I am allowed to write and create unfettered by the perfectionism that dogs my heels the rest of the year. NaNoWriMo for me is a glimpse into freedom and one of the precious few ties that I have to the wild joy I found in creating bad art as a child. As I grew older, I allowed the world to place value onto my artwork and the taste of perfectionism crept itself into my creative life and life in general. My creativity became commoditized and was no longer something that I did just for the sake of creating. Instead, it became work, something that must be done in order to pay my bills and put food on the table. Insert NaNoWriMo. Every November, I am reminded of the joy of creating simply for the sake of creating. There are no monetary deadlines attached to the projects, and the community actually encourages bad writing. Creation is the only goal. At the end of the month, you are not supposed to have a clean, polished manuscript. Rather, you are supposed to have just created something. You cannot create the polished, publishable manuscript without first just creating. And this is what NaNoWriMo means to me. It is a reminder that just creating something is better than never having created. It removes the imposter syndrome and causes me to sit down and write stories. Stories that burst from my every seam. Stories that, without this reminder that creation is the goal, not perfection, would lay dormant, forgotten. It reminds me that you cannot have greatness without experiencing failure. I must exercise my creative muscles in order to grow them. I can never create that masterpiece without creating thousands upon thousands of failures or disasters first. This year, however, I am changing the rules. Rather than boxing myself in and limiting my creativity to simply writing, I am instead setting aside November as a month of unfettered creative abandon. For the month of November, I will create. I will shirk all of the duties outside of keeping myself, my husband, and our animals fed and alive, and I will just create bad art. I will tell my imposter to leave, for he has no place in creativity. For the month of November, I will write stories that make me laugh from the sheer cringiness of them. I will pull out the oil paints I bought three years ago and never touched because I didn't think myself as worthy of them yet, whatever that means. The guitar and violin that have been sitting neglected next to my desk will be pulled out and dusted off. I will delve back into the world of storytelling through video and will explore different methods of filmography and editing through daily-ish vlogs. I will limit my time on my phone and set timers on my mindless social media scrolling and endless self-comparison. I will create with the unfettered joy and wildness of a child, not caring about being correct, but simply creating for the joy of creating. And it will be beautiful. Will you join me?